Yo, 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 what's up? It's Day Day here with yet another gameplay. I'm bringing you another Battlefield 2042 breakdown. So today in this video, I'm going to be telling you about the MP29 and the setup that I currently use. This gun, as of right now, is just absolute the best, in my opinion. Love this gun way too much. You're going to see in the gameplay footage, like just constant clips that I get. And this is just one of many games that I got. Uh, after sitting down and playing an entire session with this gun. So jump, jumping right into it, uh, mostly what I use for the red dot is just the Fusion Halo or Hollow. You can use either that one, you get another one unlocked a little bit later, which is the triangle one, and that's the DD Hollow. Uh, but I prefer to use just a smaller dot over the triangle, but all these are pretty relatively quick. I believe this is 25 kills to get this one. Um, and then I use mostly the CKU suppressor. Oh, sorry. I use the tactical compensator uh, just because whenever you use a suppressor in Battlefield, it really does hinder the weapon a lot. Uh, I'm hoping they fix that in a future update. But when I do use a suppressor, it's the warp suppressor. Again, I think this is this one I think is like maybe 60, 80 kills. I can't remember exactly how many kills it took to unlock this one. Uh, but this is my favorite suppressor, and then using the uh, tactical compensator. Uh, without any one of these, it's perfectly fine. Uh, the first suppressor is just fine too if you want to run it. You know, you unlock it fairly quick. And I'm telling you, you're gonna you're gonna level up this gun super fast because the time to kill with it is insane. Shoots 900 rounds per minute. Uh, not many other guns can compete with it. I think the K30 is the only one that's gonna compete with this gun. Um, then moving over. Uh, the first mag that you're using is a close combat, uh, but then shortly after, you unlock the close combat extended, which is the perfect uh, mag to use. As you possibly know from the last update, uh, they completely buffed the close combat magazine, so the MA5, uh, if you use a close combat uh, mag with that, it's completely insane as well. But when you add that with this rate of fire that the MP9 has to offer, I'm telling you, it's a, it's a game changer. All right. And then uh, what I use for the grip right now is just the Cobra grip. But for the longest time, you don't have a grip unlocked, and that's fine. But the recoil for this gun is completely easy to control. It's mostly, mostly just vertical. So, um, But, yeah, I absolutely love this gun. That's my setup. Another thing that I do with my setup is I run with uh let me get back where i can find it specialist uh i'm using sundance i love using the the wingsuit to find myself in situations where i can get these clips by flanking everybody uh, and then on top of that i will use the insertion beacon and the proximity to sensor yeah so i like using the beacon itself because I can control where I'm going to respond and I think that's one of the best things you know as you're approaching because right now I'm playing rush it's like the number one game mode to play it's only 32 players um, and you're not having to deal with 128 players total it's just to me a lot more controllable controllable I think dice might have been too ambitious when they went to 128 players 64 players is where it needs to be at which is 32 v 32 and that's what currently uh rush is running at if you haven't played that game mode yet which is probably unlikely because it is the most uh played game right now if you haven't played it please for you just you got to get on it you got to play it especially using this gun because most of it's going to be close quarters so using the tack insert is going to allow you to constantly be right there you control where your uh, respawn is going to be i'm not sure what level you unlock it at right now i'm currently level 39 so i think it's in your late 20s that you unlock it but using that with your proximity sensor um, and which can be completely refilled whenever someone throws down ammo. You only get one now instead of two, which is a good thing. I'm kind of glad that they nerfed that because people were having two of them, proximity sensors, and just constantly spamming them and sitting on top of a ammo crate. But going back to what I was saying, if you use the attack insert, control where you want to respawn, it allows you to constantly get back into the action. Um, more and more people are using these uh, insertion beacons or respawn beacons, sorry. And it, with this gun, it doesn't matter what they're running. If 
you're running this, shooting 900 rounds per minute, I'm telling you, it's going to change the game to be more fun than what it already was. Also, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all the new subscribers. You guys have been blowing up my last video about the controller settings. And seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank y'all. Uh, I try to get a video out uh, as often as I can. I am in the military for those who are new, so it does, prove to be, it does prove to be a little bit hard to get these videos out. But thank you so much. And if you enjoyed the video, if it really helped you out seeing this class and you enjoyed the content, Please do me a favor, hit the like button along with the subscribe button if you haven't already so we can continue to grow this channel, continue to grow this community, um, and, and I'll just let the rest of this video play out. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one.